So our good friends over at Native Instruments is blessing us with another free gift this year. It is called Glaze and it's a part of the play series. And just like last year with the Haifa plugin, they're going to go ahead and let this plugin be free to all of you guys out there all the way until January 15th, 2024. So if you're watching this after January 15th, 2024, Glaze is not going to be free. OK, so this is for all you people who are watching this late. But yes, it is free right now for you guys to download for you guys who actually have the real version. If you guys got the crack version, I don't think you want to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through some sounds and I'm going to make a really quick beat with it just to, you know, see how it turns out. So let's get to it. Bolo. First things first, let's talk about what we're gonna be using in the video. We will be using Logic Pro to make the beat. Second thing we're gonna be using is my X Factor drum kit. Now all of my drum kits are dope, but my X Factor drum kit is my highest selling kit. That thing sounds really good and all of my kits sound good. So if you guys wanna get some high quality drum kits, go ahead and click that link in the description, but we will be using the X Factor drum kit today. All right, the next thing that we're gonna be using is this, the Native Instruments Complete Control M32. This is one of the few keyboards you can just plug in and it recognizes in just about all of the major DAWs. And this thing is dope, it is solid. I take it with me a lot of places. And this is my go-to board when I just wanna make beats without using like my hardware and stuff like that, especially when I'm on the road because I know it's gonna work with all of my major DAWs. And the good thing about it is you can get it from zounds.com and you don't have to pay for it all the way up front. You can go ahead and use their no credit or background check on it and then that way they'll ship it to you and you can just pay it off in monthly installments and the monthly installments are very cheap. And if you guys wanna check out any other instruments, I will have a link to the keyboard and I will have a link to zounds.com. We can pick up a whole bunch of stuff on the site not everything, but they do have a whole bunch of stuff on the site right now that you guys can get that requires no credit or background check, meaning you can order it, they'll ship it to you, and you can just pay it off over time with monthly installments. All you have to do is link a credit or debit card up to the account. So if you guys want to get some equipment or get the M32 MIDI keyboard, go ahead and click those links in the description and head over to zounds.com. And one more thing, I got to shout out Analog Cases. They made the case that I'm actually housing that M32 keyboard. This is the their case right here and they make a whole bunch of cases that will protect your gear the worst thing is buying gear and not protecting it and it breaks if you guys want to get some really good gear go ahead head over to analog cases right now and get you a case that will protect your gear they have cases for just about everything and if you click that link in the description you will save some money right now so with all that being said let's go ahead and get to the video all right so we're in logic pro I'm gonna try not to do any cuts or breaks. I'm just gonna try to make the whole beat um, without doing any cuts or breaks so you guys can see the whole process and see what this plugin is about without me chopping and doing all that other stuff. And then plus, you know, it's not that hard to make beats, especially when you have a template. And I try to stress to you guys on any one of these programs, any one of the dolls that you're using, get you a template. And that way you can use the sounds in that template to make beats a lot faster. Like as you guys can see right here, I have my clap, I have a hi-hat, I have a cymbal, and I have an open hat already ready to go. So all I gotta do now is just plug in the sounds, add like an 808 and a kick and maybe like another bass, and I'm pretty much done. So try to get you guys like a good template or several templates to work with depending on how you guys produce. So let's go ahead and open up the plugin. And as you guys see, I just opened up Contact 7 and here's the Glaze plugin. And it's very dope. As you guys can see, it is a standard play series plugin. It has an A and has a B side. So if you wanna change the sounds and save your own sounds, you can do it that way. As you guys can see at the bottom, they have different things like the balance, the cutoff, the glide, the chorus, delay, reverb, sauce, and they have a volume knob on here as well. Now, if you wanna go in here and get really jiggy with it, you can go into the sounds and then you can go ahead and either transpose the A side or the B side, tune it, pan it, volume, LFO1, LFO2, mod, delays, amp, envelope, all that good stuff, they have it right here for you, for you people who like to mess with stuff. They have effects in here. So if you click on either one of these effects, you got that right there. You can change that, chorus, replica, reverb, another reverb, replica. However you want to put this stuff in here, you can do that. 
if you guys like messing with stuff. OK, I'm more of a preset type of a guy. But if you guys like messing with stuff, you can do that. They have a sequence thing on here. So you can go ahead and you can add your own sequence and do all that stuff like that. They have a pitch velocity, micros, all that stuff. Then you have your macros on here and you can go in here and change up all your macros. And then you have your actual setting stuff on here as well. So there's a lot of things that you guys can do inside of here to make your own sounds. Now, if we go back into here and let's exit out of that, they have a whole bunch of presets in here. They have 148 presets that is completely free. So you can download this right now. I will have a link in the description. You can download this. It is completely free, completely free. And uh, well, until January 15th of 2024, January 15th of 2024, that's it. It's not going to be free no more. So don't come into my comment section in like February of 2024 when you guys see this and then it'll be like, yo, it's not free anymore. It was only free for a limited time. You guys who come in here late, you guys are late. So um, here's one of the presets right here. Um, let's just go right here to like a lead preset. And as you guys can see, the A and B side, if I play um, a lead. Sounds decent, but what you can do is if you don't like that, you can just change, you know, the A or B side of the sound. So I can change this or change this side. Let me shoot this up an octave. Messed up. And then you can go in here and change different sounds and stuff. And then you can go through your presets, which is dope. So that's cool. So they have a whole bunch of sounds in here. They have a whole bunch of presets. They got a pluck preset in here. And then you can go in here. And change that. Turn up the sauce a little bit. Sounds good, but let me show you guys the power of this actual plugin. Now, if you guys really do not know how to play like that, which a lot of you guys can play, but there's a lot of you guys who cannot play like that who or who do not know how to make chords or do certain things like that. We just go right here. OK, all you got to do is click right here and go to riff and run or you can go to sequence so we're going to start with sequence first because i'm going to end up in the riff and run so if you go right here to sequence as you guys can see you have a blue side and you have a red side and each side does its own thing so right now as you guys can hear that red side it sounds like that and then on the blue side So now if I play the same key on the red side and the can't same key on the blue side, guess what happens? Well, play this one. So it's kind of cool doing that. You know, it's all right. Let's go to another one. Let's go to a, a sequence. Let's go to bouncing ball. Let's hear that one. That's cool. So they have a few sequences in here, but you can actually go in here and you can change up these sequences and make your own thing. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the good part. So let's go ahead and go right here to riff and run right here. So as you guys can see, the riff and runs right here, they have, you know, all these in key. So you can go ahead and easily play some stuff if you're just feeling in the mood to just play some, you know, one key and you can go ahead and basically sound like you really know how to play like that so let's go right here to air minor let's go ahead and play this but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit this octave down a little bit Ooh, you heard that Super dope. And then both sides are actually playing. 
So the A side is playing the A side is playing the riff and the B side is just playing the one sound. So you can change the sounds too on the B side. So So every time I, you know, change it, it changes up, but you can barely hear it because it's in a lower octave. So what I'm gonna do to make this beat today is I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna go to riff and run, and I'm gonna go right here to Candy Mountain. And let's play this one right here. That's actually kind of dope, but I wanna change that uh that B side. I wanna kind of push that up a little bit higher so I can hear it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to sound right here. And we're on layer B right here. Uh, let's see here. That's the riff right there. So layer A. And this is B. So it sounds pretty cool. I might I might lift that up, but I might wanna I might wanna change this to a little bit higher. What's that A or this B? Let's go to B. There we go. Let's put this on 12. Let's take this up a whole octave. And then, so we have that. And then now, when we play these, so now we're gonna be in C minor. And then, let's go ahead and get out of that right there. And then now I can play this. That's actually not bad. So now, since I already have my drums and stuff in here, it's gonna be very easy for me to go ahead and make this beat. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and either I can plug in the notes or I can just play it real quick, but I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I already got an auto quantize for 1 16th. Got this at 120 BPM, and I'm just gonna play it real quick and add these notes in here. So we got that in there very quickly. Let's play it back. Turn this down a little bit. And we pretty much have a base right now for what we're trying to do. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add um, I'm going to duplicate this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bass note in here. We're going to use the same plugin. So what we're going to do now is go right here to basses, and then they have some basses in here. Let's see how this sounds. See that sound? That's cool. But I'm going to add like a... That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I want to get find something that's a little bit. I'm gonna use that right there for right now. So we'll just we'll use this one right here. And I wish they had something that was a little bit better, per se. But we're gonna use this for right now, but we're gonna go ahead and put the octave down. And then we're gonna go up. And we're just gonna basically follow the rift and we're gonna add that in there real quick. That's hard. 
All right, so that's cool. So we got everything in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this over, duplicate those over, and then now we basically have a nice little track. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this base part right here. I'm gonna take it out right here, and then we're gonna slide this over and just loop this part, and then we're gonna actually ha add like an actual base in here. So I already have my X Factor base pulled up. It's my X Factor uh, 808 base 12, and then we have it. Already in key, sounds good. So let's go ahead and add that in there real quick. Oop, my bad, y'all. Sounds good. So now let's go ahead and add a kick in there. That kick is hidden. Ooh, that thing hidden. Ooh. Let's turn this up. There we go. Let's turn this down just a little bit. And then we're just gonna kind of follow this a little bit. So we're gonna try to follow the kick uh, with that with that bass real quick. And I'm gonna try to do this manually so I don't have to go through and do too much. sounds good so now what we can do now is we can take these parts and I can just go ahead and duplicate these over and then basically just sequence the whole track and let's go ahead and sequence this thing right here got that and then for all the parts right here these are gonna come out and bam that's how we got it and then so now when we play this and then play this back from the beginning sounds good but it needs like something else to it so it won't sound too repetitive so let's just go ahead and go right to this little hook part i guess you can call it that and i'm gonna add one more sound in here let's go ahead and duplicate that and let's see what we can add in here yeah uh what's like a nice little let's kind of freestyle something and see what happens i'm gonna try to do this you know, try to do one take, see what happens. I kind of messed up a little bit, but it don't sound too bad. I'm just trying to do this really fast so you guys can see this tutorial wise, but Let's see how it sounds. Oh, I did 
did it with quantize on it. Let me take the quantize off. It came out pretty cool. So now what we can do is we can leave it like that. We can add more effects to it. Like I can actually take this and um, like say, for instance, this part right here, I can take this and then uh, I can actually bounce this in place. So I can take this, bounce it in place. Um, just leave the source, you know, whatever, leave that the same way. Take that, bounce it in place. And then now I have this right here. And then so now what I could do is I could take this whole part and I can take this out and actually this part out too. Cause I like to bounce in place a little bit longer and I can actually duplicate this over like that. And then we have all this. So we could take that and then now we can actually add our own like little effects and everything to it. So what I like to do a lot of times is I like to go into my effects, go to output, go like to portal or something like that. And then we can go into portal and add some effects and stuff to it. Um, I kind of like to go to, uh, where's my one? Grain swells right there. And kind of turn this down a little bit. And just bring it right here. Let's see how this. You can do that. And then also what I like to do a lot of times is I like to go in here and then we can we can use like the uh, the traditional stuff like we can we can actually go in and um, use like halftime. But a lot of times what I like to do is I like to actually go in here and I like to transpose like the actual sound and everything. So what I like to do first is I, I go in here, turn on my flex beat and everything, make sure that's turned on. And I like to transpose this down transpose this like a whole like step just see how it sounds and so we can do that and then what we can do too is we can actually take those and then we can actually duplicate these. And then there's other ways you can do this as well. But we can actually take this and we can um, duplicate this track real here. We can duplicate that. And we can bring these under like that. And then once we bring those under like that, we can take the transpose and then we can bring the transpose back to regular. And then we can just kind of just blend these into each other. And then, and then turn these down a little. So sounds pretty cool. And then now what we can do is we can kind of let's get everything into view. Got my tag in here, got everything ready to go. And then I can actually take this part. I'm actually going to well, actually take this part out and I'm going to bring this part in right here. And then we have a whole beat really quick. So let's go ahead and play that back.
that actually came out pretty dope. Now, it has to be mixed and all that stuff like that. So, you know, don't get on me about the mix. I'm doing this right here in front of your faces with no cuts and breaks. So I will mix it up and, uh, you know, kind of level it because I really don't mix my beats like that. I just kind of level things out and add effects to them. But I don't really like compress it and EQ it too much. I just try to get the best sounds I can. But as you guys can see, Glaze is a dope free plugin for a limited time all the way into January 15th, 2024. So you can get this for free. All you got to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you over to Glaze and you guys can get this for free. So if you like it, go ahead and get it. And uh, make sure you guys go ahead and check out all the affiliates that I mentioned before in the beginning of the video as well. If you guys are looking for some gear, drum kits, or, you know, cases to protect your gear. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, Peace out.